Procedure 2. Performing foot care. Foot care is necessary to prevent infection and injury to soft tissues. When performing foot care, the nurse is able to assess patients with peripheral vascular disease or diabetes mellitus and the need for referral to a specialist, such as a podiatrist. Many institutions do not allow staff to perform foot care especially with diabetic patients. Toenail clipping should be referred to a podiatrist but check with institution's policy before doing so. Preparation 1. Assess the ability of the patient to perform his or her own nail care before intervening. 2. Assess condition of feet, toes, and toenails. 3. Inspect all surfaces of the nails. 4. Assess color, pulses, and temperature of toes and feet. 5. Check water temperature. Special considerations for patients with diabetes or circulatory disorders. 1. Many diabetic patients lack sensation in their feet, which can allow abrasions of the skin to go unnoticed and become infected. 2. Diabetic patients have an altered ability to fight infection. 3. It is usually permissible to file the nails of diabetic patients or those with circulatory disorders. Always check your institution's policy first. 4. Teach patients the importance of proper foot care. 5. Inspect feet daily, including soles, heels, and areas between toes. If necessary, use a mirror to inspect the soles and toes. 6. Always wear clean socks or stockings daily. 7. Check for holes or lumps in stockings or socks, which can contribute to skin breakdown. 8. Educate the patient not to walk barefoot. 9. Make sure the patient wears properly fitting shoes. 10. Dry feet completely, especially between toes. 11. Check inside of shoes for stones, tears, or foreign objects before putting them on. 12. Apply lotion if feet are exceptionally dry and flaky. 13. Do not cut corns or calluses, instead, alert the health care provider. Relevant nursing diagnoses. 1. Altered tissue perfusion related to impaired blood flow. 2. Risk for impaired skin integrity. Expected outcomes. 1. Clean, manicured nails. 2. Patient is able to verbalize correct nail care. Equipment and supplies needed for this procedure. 1. Basin. 2. Nail clippers. 3. Emery board or nail file. 4. Disposable gloves. 5. Towel. 6. Orange stick. Implementation. 1. Inspect all surfaces of each foot. Check in between toes and around. Nail bed to detect early skin breakdown. Check pulse, skin color, and temperature, and compare to other foot to identify circulatory problems. 2. Soak feet in basin filled with warm, soapy water before trimming the toenails. Soaking softens the nails and allows them to be trimmed and cleaned easily. Gently wash each foot between nails and all surfaces to remove dirt. 3. Thoroughly dry each foot. Be careful to dry in between toes. Excess moisture leads to skin breakdown, possible fungal infections. 4. Perform nail care if allowed given facility policy and patient risks. Improperly performed nail care can lead to non helling injuries, including the potential for amputation in patients with impaired circulation. 5. Push cuticle gently back with orange stick 2. Reduces incidence of irritated, cracked, loose, fragmented cuticles. 6. 
after soaking the nails and if appropriate, if nails are not thick, use a toenail clipper and clip nails straight across, cutting straight across prevents formation of sharp nail spikes that can irritate nail margins. Take care not to trim the nail too short. 7. Slowly trim all toenails as previously described. Take time to trim slowly, avoiding cutting toenails at corners which may damage tissues. 8. After all nails have been trimmed, lightly apply lotion to feed to lubricate dry skin and retain moisture. Evaluation and follow-up activities. 1. Assess color, pulses, and temperature of toes, feet, and or fingers. 2. Assess condition of cuticles and surrounding skin after nail care. Expected outcomes. 1. Patient verbalizes comfort and satisfaction with nail care. 2. Nails are smooth, no breaks in skin integrity. Key points for reporting and documenting. 1. Procedure performed and any abnormalities seen. 2. Assessment of color, pulses, and temperature of toes, feet, and or fingers. 3. Any skin breaks or ulcerations observed. 4. Color, pulses, and temperature of toes, feet, and or fingers.